Steve Garvey unveils the 60th anniversary logo with Councilman Gil Sedillo, John Suhu, Los Angeles Dodgers by Rowan Kavnafart better place to unveil the Dodgers 60th anniversary logo than at the iconic Los Angeles City Hall the logo so prominently features. Steve Garvey, Steve Yeager, Fernando Valenzuela and Ron Cey joined broadcaster Charlie Steiner to celebrate the occasion, as this week's Dodgers love LA. Community tour presented by Bank of America continued Tuesday with a special presentation at City Hall. Los Angeles isn't the Dodgers' first home, but as Los Angeles City Council members showered compliments on the Dodger legends, it's clear the kind of permanent home the Dodgers have made. Councilman Paul Krekorian called Garvey his childhood hero. Councilman Gil Sedillo recalled growing up and listening to the Dodgers on his father's transistor radio and taking back roots to the games, they're not just athletes, that they are, Sedillo said. They're not just businessmen, that they are, but they're civic leaders. You see them throughout the community, the Dodgers on the tour right now, to share the love of this great organization, what wine is to the Napa Valley, what agriculture is to the Central Valley, the Dodger economic engine is to the city of Los Angeles, for the many city council members in attendance Tuesday, growing up in Los Angeles was synonymous with Dodger baseball, what unites all of us, what brings us all together as a community as much as anything else, is the Los Angeles Dodgers. Krekorian said, as he turned toward the former players. You unite us across ethnic divisions. You unite us across economic divisions. You unite us from generation to generation, as Mr. Councilman Mitch Englander suggested. All of us grew up with the Dodgers being part of the soundtrack of our lives. After watching a video celebrating the past 60 years in Los Angeles, Sadillo donned a jersey with the anniversary logo on the sleeve. The Dodgers will wear the uniform patch in 2018. Over the last 60 years, there's been a love affair with the Los Angeles Dodgers, Garvey said. I remember in 1969, being called up never having been to Los Angeles and taking a cab early on a Sunday morning and all of a sudden seeing this great city I'd seen on TV for many years. And then going up Elysian Park Avenue. And all of a sudden seeing the Cathedral of Baseball, which as you know for 60 years has been the home to millions of Angelinos and people around the world. Baseball becomes the soul of a city. I've always thought that baseball is truly the memory business. This has been very, very special, added Jaeger. Growing up in the organization, we were taught to give back to the fans and taught to give back to the community, and that's what we've been doing for 60 years, that's what we'll continue to do. Anything we can do to make our community better, we're happy to be there, that's what the Dodgers Community Tour is all about, and that's what Tuesday in particular was all about. Later in the day, Yaziel Puig took orders at a local McDonald's, where the Dodgers picked up the bill in Glendale. Following that event, in partnership with the city of Pasadena, Jock Peterson took photos with fans and their dogs, who received a Dodger dog t-shirt. John Suhu, Los Angeles Dodgers. Finally, the Dodgers hosted 100 female students from Project Scientist for a panel discussion about the role of STEM. Science, technology, engineering and mathematics, in baseball, where Dodger general manager Farhan Zaidi, strength and conditioning coach Brandon McDaniel and members of the club's analytics department helped lead the panel, Jill Wilder, Los Angeles Dodgers.